Blog Talk Radio. Mr. Pop. The views and opinions of this show do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of this network and its affiliates. At Midwest IT Support Help Desk, we believe that technology should support and enhance your organization's success, not constrain it. With our wide range of best-in-class services, we provide customized solutions that fit your unique IT needs. We are committed to excelling at our job so you can focus on doing yours. Midwest IT Support Help Desk is always available, providing your organization with professional remote help desk support services you need Midwest IT Support Help Desk will solve your technology issues day or night. Our IT staff ensures that your network and computers are up to date and ready for operation on a daily basis. Don't wait until problems occur. Let our organization solve them with our monitoring software, giving you the peace of mind you need. Let us do the worrying for you. Enabling your workforce with top-notch technologies isn't just important, but imperative for business success. This customizable solution allows your team to work seamlessly and collaboratively in a protected space. No matter what IT services you need, Midwest IT Support Help Desk will be there to support you every step of the way. Midwest IT Support Help Desk. We are committed to excelling at our job so you can focus on doing yours. Please visit www.midwestitsupport.com for more information or shoot us an email at helpdesk at midwestitsupport.com. Give us a call, 72 he played the lo- all the local uh, music from all the local artists so you want your music played if you don't get played on the radio he will take care of you right there on sprinkle.com but this is Radio AFS Rock Talk Radio which is more Big T King C's Marvelous Matt um, this weekend this week you know a little quiet a little bit but you know mellow we'll talk about that when the guys come up here um, the Thunder brought him out NFL pre uh, uh, training camp about to start up in about two to three days. Uh, um, uh, Hall of Fame game about two more weeks. Um, so you know, you know, we 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 kicking out, we kicking out. So hey, um, we'll be right back. Let the boys come on, and we'll be right back.
What's going on? Your boy Big T is back right here on the stream. So it's your boy Big T, King C's Marlon Smith. Like I said, you can check us out on YouTube. Uh, we are on Spotify now. We are on SoundCloud. We are on um, iHeartRadio. We are on iTunes. And we are everywhere. But hey, it's stream source with your boy Big T, King C's Marlon Smith back in the house. Mellow from OKC got uh, OKC bought Mellow out this week. Um, uh, got traded to Atlanta Hawks. Well, he didn't buy him out. He got traded. Landon Hall took his contract, um, all the money, planning to buy him out, haven't been released yet. But, um, you know, where y'all think he going? You think he end up, end up in um, uh, Houston? They were they, they talking about probably a bit the best fit for him. Um, Melo, Melo still ain't, to me, he's not the player he used to be. Uh, he getting older with age. Um, he's not... Uh, you know, sometimes you can get that player, look at Carl Malone and stuff like that. You always wonder if he go get a ring. And I, to me, Melo, that type of player where he could be one of those who, in the Charles Barkley category, the Carl Malone category, John Stockton categories, um, is he end up going? Is he going to end up getting the ring? And I really don't think so. Um, I think. They were talking about the Lakers. I, I can't see that. Now I'm looking at it. I can't see that it's a good fit for him. I would see him a better fit in uh, somewhere like Houston, something like that. But I, I don't see them getting a ring in the process of this. Um, everybody said the Chris Paul situation last year was uh, Chris Paul getting hurt. And it could be true that go think on the championship. They could be very true. I think Houston could have been uh, beat. Um, Cleveland, no problem. Also, so, but you know, I I don't think Melo helps them. I think, um, just looking at OKC last year and him and Paul George and Westbrook, then Utah, you know, a younger team. You getting older. Uh, Utah was a younger team, ran, ran right or past them. Houston. I think he he going to be the good fit there. I think Houston, what they had last year, was a better fit for them. But uh, you got Ariza gone, and you know you got Capella. Uh, Ariza was your defensive uh, threat. Melo don't play defense, <laughs> so we'll see. But I just feel like it, it's still going to be the same for them. Uh, they probably get the you know late in the West. I think the Lakers going to be a whole lot better this year. Um, I just, like I said, Baby Brian Brian, I'm still going to name your name, Baby Brian Brian. Like I said, son, I made you. I made you who you are. I made you who you're going to be. You know, you are Baby Brian Brian until you bring a ring to L.A. You bring a ring to L.A., I give you another name. But right now, you're still Baby Brian Brian. Let's leave it as that. But at the same time, um, like I said, I always, give him, I always gave him that credit is that LeBron James is a great uh, distributor. He's a great... Uh, he makes players better. Looking at him, that's uh, like I said, and I say this again. My problem with him, with him was, if you want to be Michael Jordan and you want to be Kobe Bean Bryant, uh, when you came in the league, you got to you got to NBA Finals. I want to say your second or third year, you made that team better. You was number one seed in the East like two years in a row. Guys were better. Uh, uh, Delonte West, uh, uh, Gas, Gaskis, um, the guy with the bushy hair. Uh, you had some good. You made those players better, and you had winning records. So, why did you? Um, you know, you couldn't win with them. Michael made Scotty better and end up getting the ring. Kobe made Paul Gasol better and end up getting the ring. So, at the same time, I think. That was my problem. You had to go ship to a superstar to get your ring. But, hey, it is what it is. You got your ring. Uh, You got your two rings. Hopefully you get your third or fourth. I'm sorry. And we ended there. But you ain't going to catch Mike. We already know that. You ain't going to catch Mike. Go ahead and end about four. I'm looking at LeBron retiring by another four years. I think LeBron will be retired and hang it up. But, hey, we'll see. Like I say, this is a strange source with your boy Big T King C's Marvelous Matt. Um right here on Radio Air Smith. Uh, and 
like I said, we're talking about Melo and see what he going to do. So, where, where he going to end up, hopefully, like I said, we'll know something soon. Um, so, Mr. Ryan just coming in, so we talk about that. What's up, Mr. Ryan? Hey, what's good, bro? What's good? Nothing much, nothing much. Uh, yeah, we are early. We got a new show coming out tonight, Double Trouble, coming on at 10 o'clock. So everybody stay okay. tuned. The grown is sexy. Uh, so we go debut that tonight at ten o'clock. That's why we on early. So how you been? Uh, um, so far, good week. Uh, got plenty of rest. You're okay. Man, that's been uh, fun. I just been watching. That's been wa- mostly just been um watching um the the update latest on um Carmelo Anthony's um uh. Uh, situation he might end up. I got a good feeling he might end up in Houston myself. Yeah. And um, and when I think about and then when you think about it, uh, I believe. I mean, my opinion that it'd be a good fit for him. Yeah. Now, when I when I was thinking about it at first, when the first news broke, when it, it, I really was hearing about it, like yeah, you know, go to L.A., you know, but you start to look at it, and I'm like, well. What you know from the the young Lakers of last year, what they did last year, they was getting better and better. Now yeah. put LeBron in there and make the make those guys even better. Hey, what you don't know? They can be the next superstar team, and Showtime might be back. I, yeah, and I think Melo will slow that down. So I'm looking at yeah, you you're not a good fit in L.A. So no, no, you, no, you might, no, no you, you're right about that. <laughs> yeah. You're definitely right about that because I mean, I, I, I mean, you, I mean, you, you don't want to, I mean, you don't want another superstar to come in and yeah. looking forward to uh, fill the gaps, and all of a sudden, uh, while everybody else is uh, is speeding the game up, you gonna it takes only one person to slow it down. So, yeah, you're right about that, and that's why I, I mean, right, it's a a good fit about him going to Houston then uh in LA. Well I don't think LA was gonna was gonna pick him up like that anyway. But Yeah. It, it, because y'all because because y'all boys already uh putting the pieces together and still and still putting pieces together. So that would mm-hmm. I mean that that's a good fit. So then uh my boss man um um at Griffo's um he already done made an announcement there everybody that um the Redskins will win the Super Bowl this year. Oh yeah, I, I and, made that uh, announcement too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, uh, you were the first one, then, uh, and then he was like the, like the third, like the fourth one. So uh, that yeah. pretty much um, got a lot of things heated up at work. So I'm like, oh boy, I like, I see, uh, I see <laughs> what's about to happen now. So they already done gave me a referee, uh, a referee shirt, just in case something uh, happens to pop off pop or go off. down and stuff like yeah. that. I gotta be the the situator, uh, the, the situator. So I like, I like, yeah. dude, it's gonna take more than just me. I like you got to think about it. You got twelve um twelve hundred staff um on on, on uh, morning shifts and night shifts. So I like uh, <laughs> they but one of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But 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 yeah. You know, but I, I I mean I I feel pretty confident myself that I mean in the East um Redskins can give the um can you know, really give it a run. But mm-hmm. uh, uh, the main thing is as long as they can put. Piece together on um on, on um on on defense um mm-hmm. they, they gonna be um y'all gonna be right there y'all gonna be definitely right yeah. there because y'all didn't have the, because y'all had no problem stopping the stopping the run stopping the run um mm-hmm. run deep situation but when it came to passing um nobody was on the same page on that situation yeah and and you yeah. you got you got I, man Josh Norman there um. Um, you, you got to put pieces on the other side that, that can really meet him halfway. Yeah, I think um, he needs to improve. He got burnt a lot last year to me. Yeah, he did. Um, I think all that mouth he got. Uh, I love Josh Norman. I think he's a but he got fantastic to way too much. athlete. Yeah, he he got, he got burnt a lot control. last year. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think looking at the Minnesota game, the white guy oh, number nineteen. Him, he was eating uh, him alive, dude. I, yeah, he ate him up, and I think he got he got exposed and uh, on a lot of things. Cause when the New Orleans game came about, they did the same thing to him. So I think Josh need to concentrate on fundamentals this year, handling your business. Don't talk a lot yeah. of junk until you handle your business. 
All right, the first exactly. thing came to watch, I think he did pretty good. So, but don't, you know, handle your business first. Take care yeah, of what you need to take care of. Yeah. I mean, business always yeah, comes first um, before anything. Then after the game, then you can uh, yeah. uh, like your trash and, and everything else. But don't, but don't do it like a week before the game. And then, I guess what? And uh, the teams you're gonna play, and you talk trash, talk trash against. They they gonna see that on TV, and that's gonna really like prepare them even more. Yeah. Especially how to play yeah. you, and you know, I mean, that's. I mean, I, I, I mean, that's. I mean that's any sport though, so <laughs> we really can't we really can't take that away from them though. <laughs> mm-hmm. But but one thing I can say, one thing I will say is that oh, I'm happy for Darrell Reeves and the and the career that he had um, mm-hmm. over the years and he was a tough he was a tough defender um to really um to really catch any passes off of. But I'm yeah. happy for him. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean to really um call it the quits and everything. I mean that's yeah. smart. I mean in my book that's smart because. While risking another injury um, after what he been through. Yeah, and I, I totally agree. He, yeah, he got his ring. He, uh, you know, take care of his business. Um, I, I totally agree with that. So, uh, big ups to Darrell Reeves. He's one of the best corners out there. So, mm-hmm. um, so you know, he shut down Biz, uh, Randy Moss. Uh, you name it. Yeah. So he did the thing. I think going leaving, uh, going to Tampa Bay kind of hurt him, but you know he bounced back going he, to he, New England. He yeah, did because, I mean, I mean, going, I mean, that injury the injuries was a setback for him when he uh, when, uh, when we first brought him into Tampa and stuff. And and I felt, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I felt, I mean, in my opinion, I felt that you know uh, that was the actual piece uh, we needed on the um, on the left side, on the left uh, on the left mm-hmm. side of the field. And when, and when he yeah. uh, started suffering his um, injury and stuff, I'm like, oh man, I like we don't need that right now. I like he just he, he just getting yeah. started. And, yeah. But yeah. I mean, hands and down, I think, I'm like, um, yeah, number respect. Yeah, he's one of the best, best one of the best corners in the NFL in in the NFL history. You know, I give him one of that. I think uh, 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 Dawkins. Uh, the Philly was one of the best. Uh, mm-hmm. I used to hate them. I used to hate them because they used to oh, kill man. us every year. Yeah, rivalries. So the hated uh, rivalry. Uh, I mean, the best, the best in my book. Uh, uh, to me, still today was uh, Daryl Green. Oh yeah, hey, 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 hey. that's right, that's right. Because yeah, that's right. the reason I stay there because it was a, it, it was a, it was a tough decision because somebody else asked me the same question. Uh, about it um, at work, and um, I said, well, between Ronnie Lott and Daryl Green, I, it, it was really tough because I was, like, scratching my head, and I was like, well, I really think about it, push come to shove. Um, it was um, I, I, it was Daryl Green. Because yeah. The reason I, reason, uh, reason I say that because, number one, he always, he always kept himself in shape all times. Mm-hmm. And and he was physically, mentally prepared for anybody that steps on that field. And he knows how yeah. to, he knows how to he knows how to make he knows he didn't really have to make any adjustments on the field or how to play and stuff. Yeah. I have, I have seen him so Irvin uh, uh frustrate Irvin Rice, I mean the list goes on. And he was I mean he could yeah. cover base the whole field. And yeah. to be and be his age to retire at I mean age forty forty one or forty two he still, I felt yeah. that he still had about three more years left in his tank. <laughs> the, the way he yeah. was running and and off, and off the field, he was doing the same thing. And I get, and I get, I gave him a lot of a lot of love and respect for that because he was that man for the Redskins. He was that yeah. man, especially yeah, the and he, um, he yeah, and there are uh, everybody can't forget chasing uh, Tony Dorsett down, catch him on the one yard line. Um. It, yeah, everybody won't forget that. Uh, also, Eric Dixon. He chased Eric Dixon down. Yes, sir. The fastest one of the backs in the NFL. So, hey, he won the fastest man in the NFL. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I I, I have seen him chase Jerry Rice down. <laughs> yeah. 
I have seen him literally chase Jerry Ross down and uh, keep kept kept him from scoring a touchdown. So that team, he had a lot of he had a lot of stamina. He had, yeah, I mean, he had everything. He had mm-hmm. everything. Exactly. Exactly. And, so, and, uh, but yeah, um, that was Redskins. What, what that team with with Rip, Mark Rip and yeah. Mark Monk and uh, and uh, uh, Charles Mann. I mean, sh- they were the force to be reckoned with back in. Uh, Back in the yeah. early, um, early 90s. 90s. Yeah, now. Mid-80s and 90s. Yeah, mid-80s. The 17 was great. Oh, um, yeah. And 86 was fun. great. They didn't, they didn't win the Super Bowl. People don't forget nah, about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they are uh, 86. Yeah, you saw it because uh, uh, I want to say we lost, like, Four or five games. We couldn't beat the New York Giants. Everybody remember back then, the 86 team, 86 year was Lawrence Taylor and the New York Giants. They was, they was the team. They were the force to be reckoned with at that time. Yeah, they were the force to be reckoned with. And the NFC East, that's the only team we couldn't get past. We beat everybody else but them. Jay Schrader, mm-hmm. uh, Jay Schrader couldn't, uh, him and Joe Gibbs couldn't really get along. Luckily, no. you know, Joe was the type of guy was, um, Joe was the type of guy where he let a lot of stuff go. He was about to trade the win uh, on the words, but Joe Gibbs had to uh, – and uh, he hate when I tell the story because he, he feel like they, the, the the wheels were about to get traded and go yep. to the Raiders. Mm-hmm. And Joe Gibbs had a feeling this guy – I can't trade And the winner would be like, what? Come on. Exactly. I feel like you would win the Super Bowl. And that's what happened. C's well, hate when I tell that story because he feel like the Washington Redskins done the wins wrong. The wins really suffered injury. He was injured He yep. was injured the next year. That's why I, they, let him, they released him. Yeah, and that that was a setback. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a setback on 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 his part uh, when he got hurt. Yeah, yeah, he got hurt real bad. Yeah, that that wasn't too much. He, met... um, he, he could have done uh, knocked yeah. out with the injury he but, had and stuff. Yeah, and people got to realize at that time though we was in the league a long time. People don't know he was in the CFL and then he played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and yeah. he been in the league a long time, so he his body was worn out. You getting that older, you getting that old, older um, quarterback. You, you know, you know, your body ain't young like it used to be. Mm-mm. Nah. Yeah. So people don't realize that. People's like, oh, he did, he did, damn, we was wrong. No. Well, oh, you know, no, Joe Gills, he loves his guys now. Hey, uh, Joe, Joe Gills, um, he, uh, Joe Gills was a, he was a good coach too. And plus, at the yeah, time, he was, was a good uh, coach. He was, he was running his own um, Joe Gill's um, racing team as well, too. So that – Yeah. He pretty much had his hands full and stuff. I met him, I met yeah. him in person uh, when they came to Rockingham back, um, back uh, like his last – like his last year of um, – uh, 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 when he went to Redskins. Okay. And I went, uh, went yeah. to with Rockingham I, I, and stuff. I've met him uh, about – he did a conference down here in Greenville about five to six years ago. I met him then. I let I get I took a picture with him and got to uh, put on the ring. Okay. Yeah, I got to put on the ring. So hey, I wore his Super Bowl ring. <laughs> there you go, cause you played yeah. you played in the league too, so you played with the rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say I wore his Super Bowl ring. Hey, I was part of the team. I felt, I felt like the, I was in the 87 team right then. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So. <laughs> but, yeah, um, but, yeah, those, those, those right there were the, uh, were the fun times, the, uh, the good days right there. Yeah. Because I was cold. Exactly. Now, even though I, I mean, I played football my life, you know what I'm saying? I played football all the way through um, high school before I uh, messed my knee up and stuff. And I had, mm-hmm. th- I had scholarships. Back in mm-hmm. back in '98, but I was a junior at the time, and I, and I didn't know okay. it. But everybody else knew it, and 
Yeah. Well, I got hurt, and um, I didn't get hurt till like the last game of the season when we won our conference, um, our conference title at Southern Wayne that year. Mm-hmm. And um, I was I was playing uh, free safety, and I and they had me matched up with the best of the best, and I and I, and I yeah. had to be myself too. So yeah. I knew I, I knew I knew how to I knew how to match up against the receiver. I knew how to frustrate a receiver. So I, I mean I was mm-hmm. no Daryl Green, but I say in my book that all four years uh, I finished I finished with forty um. I ended up with forty interceptions and and eighteen touchdowns. That, okay, I mean, cool. If that if that don't say a lot in my book, then I don't know what. But I knew how to frustrate a receiver. Okay, cool. So, but cool, yeah, like, cool. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I can't take nothing away from it because East Carolina was one of the first uh, scholarships to, uh, um, that I got, and, they, and that was and that was that. Some of the staff was at the game that night. Um, okay. So, Looking at me and stuff, and then when I oh, got okay. hurt, that was pretty much a done deal right there. So I said, I said, oh. well, if I if I if I don't, if I don't get in any any um, schools uh, to play football or anything, I said at least I can do is um help um help coach little league and stuff yeah. like that. And that's why I started yeah, doing it. Yeah, inspire guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, uh, get in, in my streets and stuff like that. So that that I mean that was um. That, that that was pretty big on for me and all the all the other coaching staff. Cause we didn't have a to be honest with you, um, hands down, man, we didn't have a we didn't have our own football field and stuff like that. We had to use um, yeah, uh, my, my my old high school uh, football field and stuff until um, we uh, came up with a solution and came up with an idea of um, what what we wanted to do and stuff like that. So um, a friend of mine's um that still plays for uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Greg Warren, he, him and some of his coaching staff, they um. They helped. They helped. Um, they helped us out. They helped pitch the end, and um, they um, we got a. They helped us with a new football field. Um, okay. New bleachers, scoreboard, lights, uh, concession stand, and the okay. field goal so, itself was like five thousand dollars a piece. So that uh-huh. everything came in handy. I mean, at the right time. And then once we okay. got that first step done, then the next step was um, bringing the. Um, Bringing uh, bringing as many kids uh, that we that we can bring, and uh, we pick the best from the best, and then we start out with a two team league, uh, 10, uh, 10, nine and ten year olds, and eleven and twelve. But now, um, like after the years was going uh, was going by, after we won our first title, um, we turned into a four league team and stuff from five, okay. six, seven, eight, and you know it goes up to after you turn um, after you turn. Uh, Twelve and stuff, well, okay. um, and stuff like that. So I was doing that in, in my knowledge. And okay. right after high school, I say we probably won. We won ten titles. Okay, we, uh, cool. Yeah, God, God, uh, I got my brother in the plant. My youngest brother, I got. I taught him in uh, playing with the uh, 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 with the team and stuff. He won his first title, and everything, everything. Worked out for uh, for a reason. Everything was uh, everything went to uh, was going in the right direction, and it still is going in the right direction. Because even though I don't, I don't coach, uh, I don't coach uh, I mean, uh, anymore and stuff like that. Uh, ever since I moved down here in Selma, but uh, I keep in they keep in touch with me and everything. Let me know uh, how they're doing and and what's going on and stuff like that. So ever since I left right. down there and stuff, they won they won three more three more titles. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we just don't have we, we just don't have um, guys that that plays football, but we have girls that plays too. And uh, yeah, girls can do that thing. So yeah. we got um, we got King C's. What up, C's? And got Chauncey in the house. What up, Chauncey? What's happening? What's, what's going on? on? <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? We're talking about uh, we, 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 I was about to wish you a happy anniversary, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Happy yeah, anniversary, happy. brother. Appreciate yeah, that, fellas. That first year anniversary. I knew it was coming up. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> so, first year, uh, always a good year. You got to get to that 22. I'm about to be that 22 next week. 
Uh-oh. Oh, you tell me. Really? 22 years. Yeah, that's 22 years next week. Well, she's oh, a wow. good woman, man. She, she got to be a good woman, man. She stuck with yes, you sir. for 22 damn years. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, don't, you, know. you don't find too many people um, like that. You don't find too many, uh, too many yeah, people that have an amazing relationship like that. Yeah, 22 yeah. years, yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely next expert first. on the concert. What y'all going to do, woman, man? That, that woman deserved the world, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> I gave some Kool-Aid <laughs> facts. No, I gave some Kool-Aid facts. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll, we, you know we'll, do, we'll do something. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. something. Make yeah. her feel special. That's your oh, wife, yeah, man. She feel special. She probably feels special anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got a yeah, I got exactly. I got a Jones. I married a Jones boy. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, would, it would really have to be uh, nothing big, but I mean, small things makes a difference. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Awesome. It does. It does. It does. Every time I so, go out of the well, house, man, I bring my wife back. I bring my wife back a pack of them uh, them uh, lifesavers, gummies. Oh man. I'm the <laughs> Yeah, I'm the, I'm the best man in the world, man. You and me. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be the little, like, like, little things that count. Oh, lightsaber's the bomb, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. What else, fellas? Uh, the, uh, we were, I talked about Melo when I first came on, and, you know, uh, you he got to traded about this week. <laughs> Send him to LA. Send him to LA. Yeah, we don't want him, Charles. Huh? We well, don't we, want him. I don't oh, want I've got you, LA fan. You LA fan? Yeah, I don't want him, man. Why? Man, that man gonna come out. He gonna show. He gonna show up this year. What? He gonna, he gonna, gonna show up for real. Yeah, he gonna come out, man. Year, man. He can. He'll be a better player. Everybody that play with LeBron gonna be a better player anyway. Anybody that play alongside of LeBron, he's gonna bring the best out of them anyway. That's what I'm That's talking about. That's why we can use him on the, we can use him in LA. Okay. But uh I feel like we don't need him, but we'll see. Send me going to stay here, we'll look, show what to do. I, th- I think Brandon Eagle will show what to do with him. I think Eagle gonna show off this year. Mm. Y'all, y'all got to know. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I, I don't know. know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just got to oh, tell you what's your name. I do. I like him. I think he's going to be like a him. better player. I just don't know how how better he would be. Right. I think he'll be all right. I think he was showing uh, a whole lot of uh, – uh, uh, he, he was doing real good last year, but injury, he got to get bigger. I still feel like he got to get a little bigger. I think no, injury, he's real injury prone. I think it's just a little bit bigger. It's mm-hmm. muscles. Oh, okay, yeah, I go for the muscles. Yeah, muscles. Yeah, yeah, I'm, muscle. I'm a little yeah. guy myself, man, and I just didn't need no big, big frame to do what I had to do. With these guys. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, hey, you know, right. like Durant. Durant ain't got to really have a big frame, but. You know exactly how to maneuver, you know what I'm saying? So Oh yeah. But you see over you can see over the lot. years Yeah, you can see over the years Durant had got a little bigger in muscle from where he came just in a little bit. to now. You really yeah, can't tell. Really, but Yeah. Mm. He still need a haircut, but other than that <laughs> like, he needs some hair. He needs a hair to his friend. <laughs> He needs some hair a little bit. Yeah, he needs some more hair. But hey, yeah, man. See if we can't get him a transplant down there. Since he in Golden State, man, he can get a transplant down there. I know they got some cheap hair hair plugs and stuff down there for him, man. He just don't, he just don't <laughs> have to embrace. He know we he know we watching him, man. So if he go out there and get a get a perm or something in his hair, man, he gonna feel embarrassed. I can't they need to talk about that guy. His guy will fill it off with a perm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably need. I don't know what he need, then. He probably need to drain <laughs> on the perm, man. You got, you got me on that one. <laughs> 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 you, you, know, so. you, you know, these days, nothing's cheap. <laughs> man, yeah, exactly. But, um, like I said, Melo, with Melo, um, 
I think he's going to end up to Houston. Um, let him, you know, go buy that contract out. Uh, I still don't see they will do anything. I think Melo, I just say he ain't, he ain't got it no more. He ain't, he ain't a mellow, he ain't a mellow fellow no more. He, he, I just think he ain't got it. I just don't see him. Like he ain't got it, man. He, 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 he ain't on the right team. He's not going to fit you know, in I Houston just, either. Well, right, you know, oh, yeah, OKC yeah, yeah. was a great opportunity for him, though. Nah, and he man, couldn't make that work. Start. Nah, he couldn't huh? start with OKC, man. He couldn't start yeah. down in the OKC, man. It wasn't a fit. It, it would have been a better fit uh, if he was coming off the bench. But to start, yeah. no. Nah. He couldn't fit um, down there. He can't, he can't get down there with oh, um, Russell, Russell Westbrook and the boys, man. He can't He can't uh, roll with them. Oh. Like He'll be yeah, a better fit yeah, seriously though. He'll be a better yeah. fit in LA when all he got to do is post in the corner and shoot. And if he needs to go get his own shot, he can. Yeah. He needs to be on a team where he ain't have to do a whole lot. He can't do a whole lot and and be a star player. Nah, he gonna need he gonna need to be he gonna need that's gonna be his desire. Like he if he plays second string and he come off the bench, kid, and he take over after uh after uh. Say you go to Houston and he take over after uh who else some Buddha boys down there? Uh take Chris Paul oh, down. Yeah. Or you know, you know, um Houston. Uh, uh I mean Harden, Jane Harden sit down. Harden. Then then he gonna take he take over the show. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna be demanding the ball and he can do what he can do. And I exactly. I still feel he can score like he wanna score. You know what I'm saying? His sec that'll be an advantage for Houston, like and they can be able to stick with any team, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be able to dominate or stick with any team with the starters. But if they have a bench that came in with a, with the same type of presence, with a, with a, uh, with Melo in there kicking in his 20, trying to get his 25 or 30 points in for the game, yeah, that will be tough. I think that will be, yeah. be a hard mm-hmm. team to beat for anybody, mm-hmm. including us. Even though we got a deep bench down there in Golden State, that's all they missing down there in Houston was that deep bench. Because mm-hmm. yeah. when somebody got hurt, it, they ain't had nobody really to fill that void for them. Well, when I Chris think Paul LA hurt, just, yeah. When Chris yeah, Paul they, got hurt, they had nobody to finish. They ain't had nobody to help finish that series off, and we all know how now, James Harden is when it comes to that playoff. Now, if they would kept Patrick Beverly to back up Chris Paul, I think would have been a perfect fit for him. Oh man. Oh yeah, Patrick he was a hell of a defender. Fire the, fire the guy. Yeah, he could score, and he was a hell of a defender. Yeah, I think that would have been a big help for him. But I still, like I said, I think L.A. I think I'm looking what they're doing, and they their bench, like they have secured their bench. Like you got five starters to come in, five starters can sit down. But you got mm-hmm. while they play together, you know, getting Michael Beasley this week. Um, I yes, think he could, you know, he could contribute a lot. Lance Stevenson, he will be Lance. I want him to be Indiana Lance. I don't want him to be Charlotte yeah. Lance or the Clippers Lance. I don't mean no, it. no. Uh, right, no. Chauncey, don't Chauncey, don't 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 have your boy come in here and make me look bad. <laughs> You know I'm going to go at him. <laughs> baby Ron Ron. He's still Baby Ron Ron until he get that ring. Don't tell him. Tell him. Don't, let, don't make him. Let, don't come down to L.A. and make me look bad. I'm trying to be his friend. I'm trying to be his bad. friend, Charleston. Anyway, I'm trying anyway, to be his friend. He's going to make you look good. Yeah, he got, he's got to get me a ring. He better get me a ring. Huh? Huh? He, 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 be, he better get me a ring. He gonna get you one before he leave you now. <laughs> he I need one this year. I need I one this year. I ain't gonna promise you this year, though. I ain't gonna promise you this year. Now, I think, I think the Lakers, I think the Lakers is going to be. This year, though. If they do what? I said it's a possibility. They can get it. I, I'm, I'm a die hard. Well, I, gonna, I can't say die hard, but I'm a. A big Golden State fan, I can't say that hard. I ain't been with him forever, but what I'm saying is, I feel like LeBron, uh, uh, his mentality and his basketball IQ is what separates him from everybody else, man. And 
I mean, don't, don't get it twisted now. We got some great players on our squad as well. But I feel like he know how to put – He does, he's just a step above them because he he studies his teammates. He know where their shots need to be. He, he yeah. He's a genius when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? So when mm-hmm. he's in the L.A., man, he's going to bring a whole nother vibe to that state. And they're going to love it. They're going to be thriving off of that. And then they're going to believe, start believing in themselves more. And more people are going to be stepping up. It's going to be a hell of a thing to watch. They're bringing back Showtime. They're yeah, but I just showtime. don't. They're not going to be ready until mid-season playoff time before they really start clicking. Mm-hmm. They're going to have to learn how to play with these guys, one another, man. That's that's going to take some time to build that chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but but still, man. And that's what kind that's of worries me because. Even though they got they some got, veterans, some guys got some history together. If you really think about it, like them guys, LeBron ain't just LeBron know these guys. It ain't like they stranger to him. He know these. Yeah, they're, they're strangers for us playing together, though. You played against them, so they know how to yeah, defend you, but, but they don't know how to play with you. It's a difference. Yeah, yeah. It's better. I'm, well, me, I don't know. I just felt like as a player that. <clears throat> I had to team up with, with guys that I had to go against, you know what I'm saying? And then I end up maybe the next season being on the squad with them. So, and then you had a tendency down pat. I, I know what he's going to do. I know where he's coming at. And I know where he's going to be at when I run this, when I run this uh, uh, break. I know where he's going to, you know what I'm saying? It's different players and, he, and, and certain people give you a different type of stamina. And, Wait, and, and if Lance and him, then, Lance and him going to really – really be a, a, a team to be reckoned with because of Lance is sort of like a Draymond Green. You know what I'm sure. saying? Uh, and I mean, not, not far as his playing wise, his, his skills, but his, set, physical but his, yeah, his physical mentality, uh, you know what I'm saying? The dex, you know what I'm saying? The really trying to get in your head or he do that to the best, you know, well, he did it to the best player anyway. I can't really recall. I can't even think about what he did to the rest of the league. I just it's remember right. him and LeBron going at it. You know, to be honest, I can't remember mm-hmm. if he like that with everybody or not, but I it's know like with it, LeBron. It was, mostly, uh, it was just mostly uh, LeBron than it was uh, LeBron. anybody else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but with Golden State, they got a counteract where they got not only Draymond Green, now they got Boogie down there acting the food. That, that's where yeah. they act the food, too. And yeah. you, they done, they acted in the food and rubbed off on uh, the rest of the team. So, uh, KD, a tough guy now. So, you know, it's going to be some – it's like – it's going to be some mess now. You know what I'm saying? They're going to really cut up for real now. They're a tough guy now, man. They're going to cut up for real. They're really going to cut up now, man, because they got big boogie back there to, to knock you out. That. Why? Nobody else wanted to sign that. him. Nobody, nobody else gave that man no chance. Not. That should not be allowed to happen. What? Man, listen. That man taking the you minimum because nobody else will get man. What, what team have you ever known has six superstars on it? Never. He's ever had that ever happened he's before. Injured, That's he's an injured superstar. <laughs> so what? He's not, he's not. He ain't the same. He coming off an of injury. He you coming see, off an of injury season. We, we don't even know what. Come playoff we don't even know time, this going to be 100%, man. We yep. don't know that. Not from that injury. Oh, we don't know that for sure. We taking the team. <laughs> why come, the coach why come nobody else? Why come no other team is. in the league? Listen, listen, listen. Why nobody? Who's the coach? No, why no other? Who's the coach? Steve Kerr. Who you talking about? Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is a dynamic coach. He is not yes, going to play this dude. This dude is on When he comes back and play, he's only going to get like 10, 12 minutes a game. They're going to save him until playoff time to start to build on him up. He's not – he's going to be really ready to stay all time. But what I'm trying to ask you is, why no other team in the league offer that man no money? And you talking about it ain't fair. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't understand okay. that either because I, I thought so, L.A. was going to get him. So, so, so when Golden State would say, well, come on, man, we got a spot for you, man. We got this right here, money. You'll take this for it. You're like, yeah, I'll take that. Please, thank you. And he's very grateful for that. So how is that not fair? I mean – they gave no, that man a chance when I mean, nobody else would. Because the so thing wasn't all interesting. I'm no. not saying no. it ain't fair because of that. I'm just saying it's six superstars on that team. But you need to bring the, you need to blame the rest of the league, man. Y'all had a chance. Y'all, y'all had a chance to get them. Y'all supposed to win every year. 
Nobody should be able to beat y'all. Y'all should win a championship every year. According to the roster y'all have. That shouldn't be allowed. They had never they had never ever been allowed since basketball has started that you got six stars on a team. All stars now. All stars. But, All stars. I'm talking about MVP are we not type the, of guy. Are we not are we not under the salary cap? <laughs> That's yeah, a good Biggie, question. <laughs> Biggie didn't want that money. He he, he took what Biggie did he is took, took a little bit. He took less than what he wanted. Nah, what Boogie did was took what somebody offered him, but then nobody year. else offered him shit. Nobody offered him nothing, man. Nobody. The we're going to offer him some money. No, we ain't. We ain't earning nothing about it. The Lakers if were looking at him. If he didn't get, if he didn't get, if he didn't get hurt, if he didn't get hurt, um, they um, would have I feel, I feel that they yeah. would have offered him a lot yeah, more. Yeah, they, they don't trust the injury. Yeah, they don't trust the injury like that, man. You don't just come hey, back hey, from the injury I, like I that. I agree with that. They don't trust the injury still, though. So he ain't gonna be. He, he ain't team. that superstar. He ain't that superstar that that you seen in the in the past. So man, you can't really say that it ain't fair. He gonna be. On, he gonna be a that man. Ain't gonna be the same, man. I can I see he was on that. a team that he's. If he was on a team that needed him right now, oh, I then yeah. I would say okay, it's whatever. He wouldn't be able he, to produce. He, come back, he, he ain't gonna be ready. But he's on he a team that produce. really don't need him. So he don't. He don't have to rush back. He can take his no. time, build mm-hmm. himself up, and come playoff time, be 100% ready where y'all should go undefeated in the playoff. Nobody should be able to beat y'all with the team y'all got come playoff time. I don't, I don't understand why you feel good at that. <clears throat> them boys are got, not. Man. I don't understand Look why y'all got. say that. Them guys are not everything that you – out of all them guys, man, you give Clay, Steph, and KD – I would say them are the they could be the all stars, you know what I'm saying? Draymond yeah. a superstar. Yeah, he that, that man play his he, his defensive mentality and his hustle gets him everything. He got he don't average no twelve twenty or nothing. That man like twelve, thirteen, fourteen, probably like eight, nine rebounds, six, seven, eight assists, you know what I'm saying? Probably a couple steals, four, three, four blocks, you know what I'm saying? He that type of guy. He ain't no so he can't do that on every team. He can't go to the next team and do that. He can go to Milwaukee Bucks and do that alongside a uh 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 on the Kumbo. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't he wouldn't be able to f- f- uh flourish like that. He that good because he got shooters around him and he can shoot a little bit himself. You know I didn't say so, I, I didn't say why they was good. I'm just saying they they are considered superstars. They all of them have been superstar levels on the on the on the right. team, along with Boogie Cousin. Now they make six because you got oh, what's the boy come off the bench, the six man. Uh, Iguodala. Um, uh, Iguodala. Uh, uh, yeah. And his, he I mean, was a superstar in his prime, and he still he wasn't even a superstar now in his prime. Now you just added on was, another weapon. That man, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you keep giving these guys a little bit too much more. <laughs> That man wasn't no damn superstar. How I many all star games he played in? Iguodala? I mean, Iguodala was he a, he a six man of the year. Oh my god! Are you serious? How I many all? Check out check out how many all star games he played in. This dude is a star man. Was a star player. How I many all star games did he did play? Did he not win the MVP? Did he not get the MVP? With the Warriors. For the playoff. Playoff Did he not MVP. get the MVP over over Steph Curry? I, I asked you a question, over man. Jermaine I Lee? said over over Clay Thompson. Yep. Did he not do that? How? Yes or no? Yeah, because he earned it. He earned okay. it. Okay. That, okay. But uh, he, how MVP many All Star games? How many All Star games? I don't know. I don't follow Eagle Dog. I don't I'm know. I'm gonna say one. I don't I'm know. Say, Tell me how I'm many is it? One. And that, I want to say that's when he, with Philadelphia. Yeah, he was. Out, and he been in the league about what, fifteen, sixteen years. How the hell did that make you all star play if you only made the all star roster? Maybe. What? In two thousand twelve, that was last time. I mean, the only time you made an all star roster. But he made an all star, right? So he's a star player. In two thousand twelve. He made it. I said in his prime. I ain't say. I didn't say. I said in his prime. He was. But he still got the same game. 
He still got the same game now. No, nah, he. Oh, yeah. I don't think he got the same game. I think he was yeah, better. He, he was better he than better what he was now. No, he, he, was, he was more athletic. He was more athletic back then because he, was, he could do, you know, take off from any damn well. But now he's more smarter, man. He played defense better. He, he, he do a lot of I shit better say, now. Would, he, he always played defense, but the smarter part, I won't say smarter. He doesn't have to do as much as he used to. Yeah, that's true. When you when you own man. a team, <laughs> if you own a stack, come on, C's, come on, man, be real about it, man. He own a team. The man coming right out the bench. Well, he don't okay, have to do as stars, much. After the stars, like he don't got to do as much. You must ain't see that series when they played uh, uh, the Cavaliers I, in the I finals. I watched the game. All, all he had to, all he, all they wanted him to do was hold LeBron James, right? That's all he really had to do. That's all he, he had to do. If he didn't score. If is he that didn't not score, it wouldn't even Man, it that, wouldn't even been a problem if he didn't enough. score. It was just his, it was just his playmaking that, that really made that really made a difference for Golden State against against the Cavaliers. He won't he won't even one hundred percent. He was probably like eighty six percent. But it's his it's his it's his playmaking on on the court that makes that that spreads everybody out for all, for the Warriors. But that man, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, look, look, yeah, I mean, look at game four, game three, and game four. How he, how he came off the bench, set on um, setting picks. And that's and that's and that's that's getting everybody to drive, uh, uh, get open, wide open shots, dry, uh, and drive through the basket, and 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 then it came back to him. So he, he that's still, my point. I mean, he, he didn't, didn't have to do team. as much. No, he don't have to do too much now. And see, I mean that's why I don't that's why see a lot of young players I, come off I the don't know that. I can't agree with that because if that man don't play his defensive part coming off the bench. And keeping them at a level, if they if they are here or if they traveling or whatever, he he ending up keeping that second string running. He ain't get six man of the year for nothing, man. I didn't say the C C. I'm just saying, I'm not <laughs> saying he's not the six man of the year. What I'm saying is, is he don't have to do as much as he used to do. Okay, when you, well, when you, he was when you, he was when when you winning, well, he was winning then, but. He had to do. He had to do way more than what is he doing now for the Golden State. If yeah. they call him now, star player. He, even against, when he was with Philly, he wasn't a star player. But he had to do way more than what he's doing now. Yeah, he had to do way more. I, I, if you say so, I, I don't. I don't agree with that. Come on, it's see. Thinking, what, what, I mean, he, he could have he, he did. He could have did way more if he had to. If he was thought. If he was more of a thinker like he is now. Philly would have probably won that championship in LA. No. Nah. Against against nah. LA. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no. Nah. I mean they had a they had a they had a hell of a obstacle against I mean, them, but they won one game. That way they they won four one, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, they got swept. No, 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 they won no, no, one no, game. Philly won game one. They won one. They won game one in New LA. Jersey, New Jersey got swept. New Jersey. Yeah. Philly got swept. Okay. Yeah, because Philly won game one in um, LA when I was in um, did this thing. That first night, Eagle and Dollar was, ain't nothing but a, that carry that momentum. Eagle Dollar ain't nothing but a Richard Jefferson man. Same thing, same <laughs> type of guy. Them the same fellas, man. I, I wouldn't really definitely think. wouldn't say that now. Richard no. Jefferson, man, you remember when damn oh, Richard oh, yeah. Jefferson showed off in, in, in Cleveland, that Cleveland series when they won the championship? Oh so man, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't no that. They were his prime. Richard Jefferson old as hell then. <laughs> it still looks the same. You ain't right. I know the joke of 92. I know the joke of 92 still looks the same. He <laughs> still looks the same, man. He ain't never had no hair on his face. He ain't never yeah. had no hair on his head. He ain't never no had no right hair on his eyebrow. No nothing. No, no hair on his eyebrow. And that, and that, and I don't think he never had to squad themselves, too. And they and, and yeah. got smelled. Richard Jefferson, no, always, no. he a beast. He a monster, man. He a damn. He was killing us, man, with that motherfucker. Dunk. He was doing everything, man. Dunking over niggas. <laughs> Kirk, yeah. yeah, you to my jersey. If, if yeah, I remember Kirk Kittles. Kittles. Uh, kid. What's the dude? Harris. Uh, hey, Lucius uh, Harris. Yeah. Lucius Harris. Yeah. Yeah, I remember all them guys. I remember that Nick team. Yeah, man. Yeah, he. So if you're saying Eddie yeah. Dollar was an all star is an all star then you must consider Richard Jefferson an all star. <laughs> no. 
I mean, how many All Star games was Jefferson play in? Oh, shit! Uh, uh, if he played in one, it was he did. got me there. Uh, <laughs> I got a little bit though. God, I think he played in one or two, but I can't say he did. That's that's that's, that's a think. good question. I, I'm about to look that up. Yeah. Looking at it right now, I know. I, I know Eagles Dollar played. He played. He played in one. That I know. Eagles Dollar was an All Star yeah, when he first came out. Now. Yeah. Man, him man, 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 man. Say that again. Eagles Dollar yeah, was an All Star when he first came out. He, he played the All Star. KC, do you hear that? KC, do you hear that? Man, Tim Jones ain't talking about nothing, man. Cause Tim Jones said it. He talking about that ain't nothing, man. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that man ain't played in but one all the time. Why you can't say it when I say? No, man, that man won't no damn all star man. If you ain't been in but one if you've been in the league eighteen years and you got one all star game that make you all star. <laughs> well, he's an all star. Now you you've been in that game, you're an all star. Yeah, you're an all star for two thousand and twelve. It's 2018, that man ain't no damn all star still. <laughs> huh? uh, the White Howard, the White, the White Howard been in an all star game. Do you think he should be in an all star yeah. game this year? Yeah, it's not this year. I don't know. He might be a match with Walker Dufour. It might, it might yeah, surprise we, me. I don't know. Let, let's see who in the East. Uh, he got a perfect chance to go in the all star game. Who in the East yeah. do they got? Who is he playing with anyway? I don't even know who that guy playing with. He playing with the Washington Sander. Yeah, Wizard Sander. He was going to be. Yeah. Very well, so he got a chance to be an all-star, he said. He, he got, got a chance. Austin Rivers down there. He didn't get Austin Rivers down there in, um, with the Wizards. I still say that's, that's something. Man. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. It'll be a breakup oh, for him. Down there. I just ain't standing. Uh, what's that I just don't know there? how far they can go. I really don't. And these, I don't know how far they can go. Now, let's, now let's get back to breaking down this, this so-called NBA roster, or this all-star <laughs> roster y'all talking about the damn Golden State Warriors we got, man. I'm sick of y'all with that, man. Somebody's going to explain to me how they so be- so much better than everybody else. Uh, oh, Golden y'all State. Y'all do with it. Now, I, yeah. I say, now, I, I say the, the Lakers bench this year for what they got can can run with Golden State bench. Damn right. I can, I can agree with that. So, what, that bench, so you don't think they started? So you don't think they started? Not the starters. Ready. Yeah, not the starters. No, they quite ready. ready. Now, who? Steph Curry still is the man. Clay is the man. Clay Clay has sometimes sometimes a game. He can go into a funk. Draymond will be yeah. Draymond. KD will always be that. He could be the number one, number two player in the world. Um, yeah. So, mm-hmm. and then see what Boogie. We got to see what Boogie got. So man, you, you can't go on the you can't even Think about that. Yeah, but then again, yeah, we lost. We lost. It, yeah, we lost our. Um, we lost uh, some pieces to the championship team. We got Javale McGee gone. Uh, who else y'all picked up? But you got Boogie in place. Uh, 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 what's the guy? The the uh. The other white guy, twenty-seven. Uh, uh, Rag- uh, uh something like that. I can't think of his name. The one we heard in there about. Go and say. Um, uh, Petrulia. Yeah, the center. Yeah, 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 you all lost uh, Swaggy P. I don't think Swaggy P going nowhere. I think Swaggy P got better sense than that. <laughs> <laughs> you know he got this. But, but, got but, but, okay, but listen, though. Taking taking the page from the Boston, the uh, 2000 and, what, seven? Seven. The Boston one. Yeah. The, so they won the 2007. Oh, taking the book mm-hmm. from their book, man. Okay, they took Kendrick Perkins away from that squad, and they took uh, uh, James Posey away from that squad. They didn't repeat the next year, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. People thinking because they kept the all-star core together that 
everything would be fine. No, nah, man, Kendrick was that core. He was that center, man. He was that anchor. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And that was your Kendrick was it? And that was your And James Posey. And James Posey coming off the bench mm-hmm. was yeah. a that man showed off in the playoff. You know what I'm saying? He cut through up. the whole playoff. Yeah. yeah, he cut up him and um House. Yeah, you know what and saying? Kevin so, got hurt that year. Kevin got hurt. Yeah, that you year. know what I'm saying? So. Add, sometimes taking them little pieces away from me, and they be doing, you know what I mean? You just got to hope the next person that, that come in and they take their spot can give you that mm-hmm. same type of energy, if not better. Right. You know lose San Jose too? Them. Yeah. Did y'all lose San Jose that next year? Oh, yeah, that year. Yeah, that next year. Yeah. yeah. You know. You know. But that, you sound concerned, that, KC. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that true? Who? You sound concerned. That? Is that true? Are you a little oh, worried? Yeah, I'm always concerned. No, I ain't worried. worried. I just want y'all to know. No, listen. I just want y'all to know that it ain't. It ain't like we ain't really ain't got no advantage, man. Like, like y'all crying about. Y'all keep crying about. Y'all got this. Oh, y'all got the all stars. <laughs> yeah, y'all be crying though. Y'all be worried about it. Y'all got a tip. Y'all got thirty. Y'all got thirteen all stars. Y'all got thirteen all stars. I'm just this is all I care. Y'all got 13 all stars on one team. The coach of World 14 Championship. Uh, no, all man, it ain't is, fair. All I know what is, I'm is saying the, West is, the West is wide open already. I'm saying, as it is. Yeah. I said that the team that y'all got, y'all should go undefeated in the playoff. I didn't say it was going to happen because I, I don't think y'all going to win this year. But I'm saying no, okay. with the team that I y'all got, tell. y'all should. Man. Richard, 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 Jefferson, Richard Jefferson did not play in any playoff game, so no, he's not an all star. Thank you. He just like he just like them. Uh, him and um, now compare their stats. They got the same type of stats. Been the same type of player for years. But Both even though played an all star, even even in their old <laughs> age, yeah, because he won that damn um uh. Even at, uh, at their old age, they both play with excellent, you know what I'm saying, con- con- you know what I'm saying, consistent play that they've been playing with for years. You know what I'm saying? So, them the same type of guys as me, you know what I'm saying, him. Uh, he just happened to be on an uh, all-star caliber team that year in 2012. That's it. But him, him and Richard Jefferson I, 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 did the same thing. I was just thinking my book um um Eagle Dollar um he, he still he still I don't think he really missed a touch or anything. He missed a missed a, uh missed a beat or anything. I think I mean he still got he still got I mean he may not be the the same like the same like same Eagle Dollar um when he was in, in I mean in Philadelphia but he still got the man he still has has the mentality of playing on uh, defense and being uh, a, a a huge playmaker. Yeah, he don't have to play a lot of minutes, so I mean Coming off the bench, I mean, he, I mean, he can still get you uh, fit, uh, fifteen to seventeen points. Um, if somebody, if somebody's hurt or something like, or or somebody having an off an off night, you know. Yeah. But he can, he can, he can build, he can fill that void. But he doesn't yeah. have to. He don't Easy. have to play as, as many minutes as he used to. Mm-hmm. And that's why you got young players. That's why you got young players coming off the bench, and he's teaching them as they go. Uh, 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 yeah. What you what you doing wrong, or what you or or, or what you or what kind of adjustments um, you, you need to do when you're on the court? Yeah. So I can't wait to play L.A. and Thompson around, man. He talked. Well, I got something for you, Thompson, this year. I'm holding to. <laughs> I'm holding to you all year, man. I'm saying, why, why are you getting mad at me? Because I'm speaking the truth, though. I mean, what, what's the deal? No, I ain't mad at you, my brother. I ain't, I don't, don't get mad at me. <laughs> I ain't but, but, mad at me. But hands down, though, I mean, the West, I mean, the West, is, the NBA West is wide open right now, and and I ain't never seen it like this wide open in a long time, and it's gonna get yeah. very competitive this year. But and at, at the same time, crazy thing. It, it's wide open for second and third and fourth spot and fifth spot. It's wide open for that, but it's damn shame wide open for number one because <laughs> we know who, you know who number one is. <laughs> you know who number one is. At, at the same time, if he don't bring it this year and be number one, baby, Brian, Brian, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you for fourth, fourth. I need to change the name. You need to be. Hey, Charles, I want a title. 
I'm letting y'all come hey. in like this. I want a title. Look, yeah. man, I'm telling you, Tim, to you're going to get a title. You're going to get you one. Just calm yourself down. I just can't promise you you're going to get it this year. But it's coming. We can beat, we can beat Golden State with that squad. Hey, I didn't say hey, we can't hey, Tim, I didn't say uh, that. I'm coming. I don't think Golden State I'm won't win get, it again. I'm coming to get my damn, uh, my damn Golden State equipment back for you, man, because I let you ride with me last year, man. You want to get a ring? You say you want a ring? I let you ride with me, man. I'm looking forward for this season. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's going to get crazy. Yeah, yeah, I let that man ride with me. Now he done went off and started flipping on his own. Now, there you think he did. He got big headed and went out on his own. That's all right. You can't take Big T you know, serious, man. You can't take him serious. You can't take him serious. I've always been an L.A. fan. No. They're going to get you one. They're going to get you one. Last if they don't, year, get, it, if they you, don't get it this year, they would definitely get it next year. And Big T can't even eat that. Big T came to me well, like, yo, C, look, man, you think they're going to win this year? I said, what? You see, you think Golden State going to win this year? I said, man, you crazy. Ain't why you asking that foolish question? He said, look, man, can I pee ride with y'all, man? I said, what you talking about? He said, I just hate Bron, Bron. He said, I'm really he said, I'm really an L.A. fan, but I just want to ride with y'all, man, to get me a chip this year. I said, all right, Tim. And you was on the radio. He was on the radio station giving us all the props. He yelled, Golden State this. Uh, 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 KD, the best player in the world. Steph, this he's he's still number one. And now you talking about we gonna beat somebody? Well, I tell you, boy. Jesus, <laughs> I was trying to dunk something. I always been an LA fan first. I'm a Curry fan. I'm a, I was a, I had some Bars fan. You know, I'm a Steve Kerr fan because he's a Chicago, former Chicago Bull. So I yeah. enjoy the team. Yeah, I do like Golden State, but L.A. is my team. So, hey, and, and you L.A. got to come first. KD the best player in the world. He won two. KD the best player in the he, world. I say he won two. I say, you know you know how I feel about baby Ron Ron. Don't go there. He got to prove something to me. Be, but be real about it, though. Don't, don't, don't be no hater. Be real about it. I'm being a little I said one or two. I said, yeah, he wanted two. Two. Man, I'm going to call Maddie Johnson on you, Tim. I'm going to call Maddie Johnson on Tim, man. I'm going to see what he got to say about this. But what you call Johnson? Why you say three? So what? Who's three? He just ain't one. He's talking about LeVar, KD, who? He definitely ain't one. I'll give him two. two I'll say he's the second. I'll give him two. Who's number three? Who's number three? I don't know, man. I don't know who the third. I don't know who number three James is. James Harden? James Harden or Westbrook? Man. I don't know, right, man. I don't know if he's one of them. I, if if uh, healthy, I'll put Anthony Davis in there. Yeah. Mm, that's, yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah if healthy. So and the ACs and the, mm. the rumor is the rumor is if I if um uh, he's a free agent next year that's who they're going to get. Okay, Who's that? Uh, Anthony Davis. Uh, they talk, they, um, they be a um yeah. a, a free agent next year too. Yeah, who, Clay will too, get? but they'll they, they'll get Clay that money. Who's going to get, get AD? This three P. The Lakers. I don't worry about this. This three P. As we get this three P. Uh, I don't care what y'all do. Y'all can go get A D, K D, maybe Lazy. I don't care who y'all get after that, man. <laughs> so see. Yeah. You think y'all gonna win again this year? It's a three P. Then to make it, man. Oh, okay. I already got. Okay. I already got my three P. Shirt already. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're already prepared, then. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Hold on. Hold on. We is. got somebody that we ain't heard from a long time on air. What's up, Marvelous <laughs> Matt? Not much. What's what? going on, my The Marvelous one. It was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we stopped the milk carton now for you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, bro? I've been, I've been moving from um, 
had to move from Cleveland to L.A., so it took a little bit longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you, like I just told Charleston, I want to ring. I, I know if ands or buts about it. If he want his name changed from Baby Brown Brown to LeBron, he got to have a ring. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying like that? You're you not confident? Huh? I mean, I, I I just think you got a bad mojo, man, and I'm not used to cheering for the same team. That's all. Wait, <laughs> 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 well, well, wow. this, this got hurt. I, I don't know how to feel about this this year. I got to be on the same side of you and Chance. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Who else are there? The three students. <laughs> Curly, <laughs> curly, Larry, and Elmo. Damn, you should feel man. good, man. You on a you on a championship team? I've been on a championship team this, before. Look at my ears, man. Okay. When? Since you've been grown. No, nah, nah, you were in Tampa. <laughs> you were in Tampa then. <laughs> <laughs> you can even fully enjoy that. You can even brag about it at daycare. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't know what you were talking about. Oh, uh, <laughs> with me, with me. They ain't know that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't know that. They thought you were talking about some poor skin. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but hey, I, I got to have that ring, man. So y'all, y'all moved in. You on LeBron and stuff. You, you, you got your room down the hall. Then, but we ain't get no rain this year. Come on, man. Come on. Don't come in here talking like that. We don't get. We don't bring balance shoes <laughs> like this. You gotta be. That's that's your problem. You, you and your feelings. We got to be in the real world. We didn't get Kawhi. I'm in the real world. We didn't get Kawhi. Mm. Okay. Who else uh-huh. is here? And 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 with the people they got there right now, they ain't much better than the Cavs were. So right now they technically about the fourth best team in the West. You said fourth? Fourth, yeah. Yeah, man, give he giving you a reality check, Tim. And the chance you might even listen to. <laughs> <laughs> they not better than Golden State. They not better than Houston. Oh, okay, so we got Golden State, we got Houston. You still got to even worry about OKC. So the fourth team. Hey, come on, man. God, he was going to be brought they, off forever then. They just, be, they just a, a tad bit better than North Pier High School right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a lie there. Oh, no. uh, That's what I've been saying. I said, if we don't win it this year, we would definitely get it next year. Mm. I'm going to get some more players than, than next year. We're going to make the playoffs. Hey. We're going to make the playoffs. We will make the playoffs. All right, see, I'm going to say it like this. Reality is, if the defense is there, I don't see nobody stopping KD, though. That's my problem. If somebody can stop KD and shut on that, if he can have an ankle injury in the playoffs, (sighs) that's what I'm looking at. I think if he get an ankle injury, I think it'd be good to put Matt Stevenson on on KD. Yeah, it can't frustrate him. Cause he want to what? fight now. Cause he want to fight now. He want to beat people up. He's a, he's a new KD. So he we'll didn't call get the time out. We'll we'll call the time out. Put Boogie in. Let Boogie tell him, "Hey man, get your motherfucking hands off my boy now." The last time I tell him. Catch him in it. Bring him in. It's like bringing the killer come off in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I get back on this, for real. If I get back on this court again, I'm gonna break your jaw. I'm gonna go back over and sit down. I don't hurt him. <laughs> you think yeah, he's yeah, gonna Man, yeah, you ain't gonna Lance like I was just playing with him, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Lance ain't like that, man. He just uh you not know, antagonized LeBron. And that was his that was his shining moment, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. he think he's so really over now. You know, I, I agree with what Matt it. said. I think we ought to follow that the fourth team as of now, but I wouldn't. Mm. I still wouldn't put us out as saying that we won't win the championship. Because I look at the team that Cleveland had 
and how far they got. I I can't count mm-hmm. LeBron out. I can't count them but out. But you got to look at what side they was on. They was on the east side of at that time. Yeah, but I still can't count them out. I can't I can't count them out, man. But they'll count they count this up out for you. You ain't got to worry about it. Somebody else count them. You you said you setting him up to do the same thing that he just dealt with. You, you, you know, I mean, you can't count them out because it's LeBron. But at the same token, yeah. LeBron got one gun. You got five or six guns on the other side. It's, right. You're in the same situation right now. And now you add, and then you add in inexperience. On top of it, you know, he had J.R. Smith, Kyle Corver, you know, different guys, you know, you could say good or bad, but they've been there before. Yeah. These guys, man, ball, come on now. Ingram, great but, player. But the guys they're bringing in has been there before, so they know what to expect, though. Rajon Rondo got a horrible cool, you know? attitude. He, 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 uh, Rondo got a horrible attitude. He couldn't even, um, you, you know, and I hate uh, I hate Duke, but Coach K couldn't coach him for the, um, you know, for the Olympic uh-huh. thing. No, sir. He had a, he had a time with him. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you know. So when you when you when you be real, they they just had their own version of Boogie Cousins. But the only yeah. difference is they don't have four or five other All Stars to be on their team. So current current yeah. roster, current roster, you you gonna get if he gets there, he's just gonna be frustrated because we got to be real about even without Kyrie, Boston is a problem this year. Yes, sir. You, you, you know, for anybody, you might say he the East, but you know that's the East. But you are gonna have to see him. No. You, you, you know, so I, I don't know, man. They're gonna have to do some changes to this roster, and and then you might say, well, LeBron, you know, hey, uh, greatest player. <clears throat> I feel like he he's still the best player, but at the same token, he got to play offense and defense. Them other cats, man, we saw what just happened. When you start playing with Golden State, man, that ball movement, them shooting, everything, he's going to be outgunned all over again with the current roster. I hope they make changes because currently they would have to resurrect Magic Johnson, put him back on the court in his prime for them to stand the game. That's wrong, man. Yeah, he's going to be back. Yeah, going to be back. That's the case. Then you might want to go ahead and bring back Byron Scott. Um, James Worthy? Yeah. Michael Cooper. My, I didn't see Michael, Michael, Michael Cooper bring, warming up. I was going to bring that back. Uh, and he still got the long socks on, and he got a shot. So, hey, you never know. Go get Kurt Randall. Get surprised. Go get all the Drew while you're at it. Oh, no, we, we'll see. We'll see. I, I still ain't, ain't kicking him out yet. I ain't going to kick him out yet. Oh, I'm not mm. either. I, I'm not going to do that. I do I'll wait for y'all, about this season and see how they bonding together. <laughs> if they the chemistry is good, then I I feel better. Well, it, yeah, I I think that'll be all right. I got I'm gonna make a phone call this time. Mm. At least, you know, cause yeah. Yeah, I'm, you can't make no phone I'm, calls. I can make a phone call. Why can't threaten? Why can't threaten, baby, blah, blah. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about. That bad mojo. That's that bad mojo yeah. I keep telling y'all about. I think I think Matt my twin. Hey yo, I think Matt my twin. Yo, I can't even trip off him. <laughs> I think <laughs> Matt my damn twin, man. I ain't got to talk no more. I let him say, hey, hey, he telling you the truth, man. I ain't got to talk no more. Fuck you, man. I think you got Terry got root. Terry got roots on his team, man. All your team got roots on it, man. <laughs> my team is good. Like I said, you see what I post this week. What did I say? The new Super Bowl champs of 2018-19 are the Washington Redskins. Deal with oh, it. Y'all oh, believe yeah. in it? Yeah, that's right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Wait a minute man. I, I, I ain't got my referee shirt this time, so I, I hey, can't. Hey, Tim, you can't said play. that for real? Yeah, you yeah. said it. You said it. Yeah, for my picture and everything. Yeah, my hat what, on. What drugs huh? are you on, hey, dude? Hey, I, what hey, the hey, I ain't scared. I, I forgot to ask you too. What what kind of what what were you had? What you smoking? Yeah, the salt. I'm saying I'm trying to figure the same thing out. What what are you taking, man? They got to be the new drugs too. That's right. I don't take. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I don't say nothing about ibuprofen. I don't say nothing about ibuprofen. So you must put, you must mix it up with, you must have cooked it up with some baking soda, ibuprofen and baking soda, <laughs> and, you put, and you put it on a can, man, and smoke that. <laughs> oh man, yeah. and that's what you came oh, up with. Oh my god. Is that, is that like, if y'all want to see still. the post, yeah, maybe you want to see the post. Yeah, I said it and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Man, oh my how the hell you gonna win the Super Bowl? <laughs> how do we? How y'all gonna win the Super Bowl? Y'all can't get to the playoffs. <laughs> we gonna get. We gonna get. We gonna beat Dallas. They, huh? they, Dallas gonna win. Dallas gonna win seven games. Tops. Huh? Uh, no, ain't going to always cheat to get there. We'll beat them in Tim. the Super Bowl. No, don't, Tim, stop talking, man. Make yeah. yourself look yeah. bad. Make yourself yeah. look bad. Yeah, we'll beat them in the Super Bowl. I don't know if you want to do another show with you now. This could be the breaker of Tom Brady and uh, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick this year. I thought your page got hacked. That's why I didn't even come in. <laughs> 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 no, that was me. I did it. Oh man. Yeah. Y'all all right? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, <the> question is, <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> I can't I'm great. Right so now. how many games? How many games got Cowboys to give? Well, I mean, we gonna get. Uh huh. You wanna have to go? I'm gonna be well, honest, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree with King C. We can get by twelve plus the well, no, nah, we're gonna oh, get yeah. We're gonna win it this year. We're gonna, gonna win it this year. We're gonna win it this year. We're fucking around and have one of those sixteen and those and shit like that. We're gonna win it this year. Like we we gonna gonna win it this year. I ain't gonna watch it, but I'm gonna dance or pray for it. <laughs> so you're afraid for Cowboys going to get a chip this year, buddy. Yeah, yeah they right. win, man. They're going to win it, man. All right. Mm-mm-mm. Are you a roof? I got a headache now because you said, because Steve said it's 13. And I got that game. I'm ready to lie. Yeah, you were. You were. You were. It might be a 16 and old season. I keep saying, I don't see nothing but goodness <laughs> out of them guys now. It might be one of those 16 and old, maybe 17 and one. You might lose the last game. Get rid of the coach. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to lose the last game. I don't feel, John, I don't feel um, John Green like, uh, like that. Get rid of, uh, get rid of the coach. <laughs> yeah, he's he gone this year. Calgary's Cal- Cal- gone this year. Man, how about New England? How many niggas win this year? Uh, I don't even and think we're, we're out to you. Huh? All of them. I don't think we're they out to you. They I can't win it, um, Anyway, I think the Eagles going to um, <laughs> the Eagles gonna I ain't going to count Jacksonville out. I ain't going to count them boys out because they was number one just about in every category last year. And I feel that they, uh, they're they going to be right back in the midst of it again. So I definitely ain't going to count uh-huh. them out. No, nah, I don't think they have a good season. They I ain't gonna count them out, but they ain't had the season like they did last year. Okay, I y'all count everybody out but the Cowboys. <laughs> y'all count everybody out but the Cowboys. So, I, ain't about about that. That. I just I count the Redskins out definitely. I hate they ain't them. never been in it. They ain't never been in it. You can't count. Nah. Them. They, they don't even count then. They don't, they don't count. even count that's then. Just a, that's just a win on everybody's schedule, man. So that's a practice thing. Yeah. Well, well, well. Um, we go, we go. We, I decide the game we go go to, fellas. And I will look it up the night when I get off the air. We are going to the Dallas and Carolina Panthers game. If I with that, yeah, he also with that great witness of greatness, man. Hey, no, just say I can't. I'm not a Cam Newton fan, but Cam will beat y'all twenty eight to seventeen. So that's what they have. That's oh, that's one game down. So that's fifteen. That y'all got fifteen more to win. Well, Man, you crazy? How the hell you figure that? They'll probably be the score twenty eight seventeen, but it's gonna be in our favor though. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, you're showing me you're that. Predicting what? scores. But yeah, 28-17. Yeah. 28-17. Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, you're right. Uh, hey, they, they won right there, too. You pull the titty out. Who did? Did. Yeah, and they uh, are. Uh, Zeke. 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 They was right there. Oh, yeah. He went to strip club. <laughs> <laughs> He told me to meet him in, uh, in Houston at uh, Hooters. We were going to have some chicken wings and then we shoot out to the club. I said, I'm married now, man. I can't do all that shit, bro. I'm, I'm good, well. I'm good. Yeah, go get him some titties. He don't care what I was talking about. So he went on. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to try here all day. Uh, he sounded like he, he, he right got his titties, boy. Well. Yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You want a pair? You like a oh. pair? You see a pair you like, man? Then go out there and get them, man. Nah, I'm just playing. Right <laughs> there, man. Yeah, you made it sound really uh, good. I'm about to ask you, yeah. I'm about to ask you fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that was just joking. But, but so we about to get off the air because the new show, Double Trouble, about to come on in a few minutes. And uh, we're going we to start trying to be back on this same time, 8 o'clock next week. Y'all cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. fine, man. Yeah, man, you cool with that? Yeah, no problem. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, mm. look, yeah, man, you don't want to have to come find you. All right? You're uh, on the milk cart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> season <laughs> ain't so, started right. yet, man. Hey, look, the season ain't started yet. Baseball. Yeah, <laughs> we get missing the season, so. All right, all right, All right, all right, all right. Y'all take it easy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, fellas. All right, all right. All right. Appreciate everybody for joining us at Strange Sports with the boy Big Tish King Seas, Marvelous Matt, and thank y'all. We have a great weekend.